If you have Parkinson's disease, you'll want to pay particular attention to this video. Parkinson's disease can be a crippling disease. And it can be very scary when you start uh, moving down the, the road of being diagnosed and your doctor is starting to give you a number of different uh, treatment options. Um, these neurological signs can be devastating. There are some options that are natural and safe and very effective that you might not be aware of. The use of glutathione has been pioneered from Dr. Perlmutter out of Naples, Florida, who was called the um, renegade neurologist. And let's take a look at some of the work that Dr. Perlmutter's done on Parkinson's and the use of glutathione. Dr. Perlmutter is without a doubt the foremost authority on glutathione, in particular its use IV on Parkinson's patient. This is a picture of Dr. Perlmutter working with a Parkinson's patient. After an IV therapy with glutathione, his symptoms dramatically improved. Glutathione is the body's own natural and most powerful antioxidant. It's present in every cell. All other antioxidants like vitamin C, E, selenium, and so forth depend on the presence of glutathione to function properly making glutathione the master antioxidant, according to scientists. Dr. Jimmy Gutman, MD, is recognized as a glutathione expert, and he explains how to boost your immune system and take advantage of your body's most powerful antioxidant and detoxifier. In Dr. Gutman's books, he describes glutathione as playing a huge role as an antioxidant, a detoxifier, and an immune enhancer. If it was in the entertainment business, glutathione would be a triple threat. Dr. Alan Summersall wrote the book Breakthrough in Cell Defense, and after two decades of culminated research, he found the connection with glutathione to the immune system. Dr. Summersall found direct correlations with fibromyalgia, arthritis, aging, cancer, chronic fatigue, degenerative diseases, and Parkinson's disease. Glutathione plays such an important role in keeping your cells healthy, it's especially important in the central nervous system, specifically in the brain. Glutathione protects the brain from oxidation and keeps it healthy and vibrant. Glutathione's role in Parkinson's disease as a buffer for harmful oxidative stress. This buffering allows the Parkinson patient to experience a much decreased symptomatology. The question now is how do we get those levels of glutathione to be increased in your body, particularly in the brain and the nervous system where it has its most um, dramatic impact on improving health and vitality. There are a lot of companies out there that will tell you that there's an oral form that will increase the glutathione production in your body and those levels are really minimal. Um, I question a lot of the research that those companies have done just basically, you know, whenever a company supports their own research, they're usually going to find what they're looking for. Um, some of the most exciting areas with glutathione are the injectable and the IV method, both intravenous um, and also intramuscular injections, nebulization of glutathione, and the suppositories. Because glutathione simply isn't absorbable through the gut through a pill or a liquid, we have to turn towards other means of administration. So that leaves us with basically four routes of administration. We have inhalation, injection intramuscular, and intravenous, transdermal, and suppository. Most of the studies that have been done on glutathione are by intravenous and intramuscular injections. However, there are exciting new options for you as a consumer, specifically suppositories. Suppositories offer a unique and convenient method of administration. Another exciting area of medicine is glutathione administration through nebulization. Now it's time to start considering whether this is appropriate for you with your Parkinson's disease. I would encourage you to take a strong look at the glutathione suppositories. And the reason that I feel strongly about that is that by using the glutathione on a daily basis, you're going to be able to keep your glutathione levels at a high level. The problem that you start to run into with the IVs is that you get your glutathione levels ramped up 
and then they'll slowly diminish over a couple of days. And so although it's very helpful, it's not realistic to get these IVs on a daily basis and, and they can be expensive. So now you've had an opportunity to educate yourself on glutathione. And if you've got Parkinson's disease, you have my empathy. It's a tragic disease. I've had an opportunity to treat many patients with Parkinson's successfully with glutath glutathione therapy. Uh, there's only one company that I'm aware of currently that offers a glutathione suppository, and that's glutacure.com. And I would invite you to uh, log on to their website, glutacure.com, and uh, share it with your doctor, share the information that Glutacure has on their website with your doctor, and make a decision based on science. Okay, well thanks for joining me. A place I like to go to for trustworthy information about glutathione is glutacure.com. And as always, believe in your body's ability to heal itself. I do. This is Dr. John. See you next time.